Now, I just want to start by saying October, last October was my one year anniversary of actually doing stand up, so that was a you know, big milestone for me. One thing I remember about uh, October of last year, 2010, was like Breast Cancer Awareness Month was going on, and so um, like girls on Facebook would post these really like vague statuses <laughs> about like where they like it, it being where their purse should be. Like, I like it in bed, I like it in the car, I like it in the pool, I like in the fucking Chuck E. Cheese ball pit. <laughs> so like, somehow this is supposed to raise awareness for breast cancer, but I mean, this messes guys up really bad, because they're just like, what is going on? Why aren't any of these people calling me? I don't care where you like it. Just tell me when and where, and I'll be there. Yo, your parents' house, do we have Snuggie? Do we have cream cheese? Alright, I'm there. Panera cream cheese, to be exact. Now, um, this is cool. We're all this is a great school. Uh, a lot of professors, though, they get on my nerves. They have like mannerisms that you just cannot stand. For example, I have one professor who says okay about a million times per lecture. My friend counted 417 times within a 50 minute lecture. And so, like, I can just see myself one day seeing this professor on the street and be like, hey, how you doing? Okay. Oh, I thought so. <laughs> and then there are other professors who are just like way too involved in your social life. Like, they, they're way too enthusiastic about learning. And they're like, you know what, I want you guys to become best friends. You might even start dating one another. And I thought that was encouraging until I looked to my right and there was a huge guy sitting next to me. I thought, you know, I'll take my chances. I leaned over to him and I was like, dude, it's gonna happen. <laughs> and it was Corey, by the way. It didn't work out. <laughs> now that everyone thinks I like boys, let's talk about Twilight. <laughs> Why the hell are they still making Twilight movies? I think the ones coming out soon. I just remember a fond memory I had with Twilight is uh, those little chocolates that they made a while back. I was at the checkout line, they're 25 cents if you don't know. Just try it out. And their peanut butter flavor was cool and whatnot, but uh, I would have I would have appreciated a more like diverse take on it, like a flavor that kind of relates to the character itself. So for like Jacob Black, you know, like muscle milk flavor, <laughs> and then for like Edward Cullen, you get like Adderall flavor. <laughs> That's how that bastard gets good grades. I mean, he stays up all night studying. And then there's a uh, Bella Swan, emotional baggage flavor. <laughs> Tastes like shit. <laughs> Uh, so, holidays are creeping up, Thanksgiving, you know, Christmas, this, that, the other. Um, now, I like to travel during holidays, but you know, being brown at the airport is like being blonde at a Harry Potter premiere. Just stick out like none other. <laughs> now, security can be kind of crazy, kind of kinky, um, but that's all good, because I'm a freak. <laughs> I'm a freak, I do everything. I have my own rates going. Five dollars for metal detector. $10 for Frisk, $100 for Strip Search, <laughs> SMD, it's priceless. When I say SMD, I mean see me dance, I mean suck my whatever. Because, you know, it gets really boring at the, the line. People are like taking their belts off and you know, butt cracks and stuff are showing up and it's awful. But I'd be willing to dance to my mood. Um, body scanners were a great thing to talk about. Um, they basically just like, you know, look at your body, the skin of your body. So I, I think a good way to just like kind of slap back at the officials here is just to jam a bunch of like Twizzlers in your pants. So when you go through it, they're like, good God, this man's like Medusa. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to ask naturally, where are you from? And I'll just be like, Caucasian. <laughs> Another fond memory of uh, Mizzou was May 2nd. It was it was, uh, it was an evening, the Greek town was going nuts, I don't know why, but a little bird came and told me that Bin Laden had been killed. <clears throat> now, rule of thumb, if a little bird comes and tells you something, he's either working for Jafar, <laughs> or the Taliban, so shoot that little bastard on sight. Cindy <laughs> <laughs> likes flowers! <clears throat> oh, little bird, I don't believe you. <laughs> False. She's allergic. <laughs> well, uh, so when the man was alive, I mean, we all hated him. 
And like, uh, people would ask me what I think about him. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think about him. <laughs> so many of my own problems to worry about. But another thing that like, you see is, um, I don't like being comfortable with him, you know, for any reason. I remember going to the uh, mall one day looking for some shorts. And the lady was like, here, try these camouflage pants. And I was like, oh, I take offense to that. <laughs> Tara Bora Sheik is not for me. Just hope we make some good of it. Um, so, back to airport security. I don't know about the money's But, you know, these airport security ladies are really bitter. They're probably in their late 30s, 40s. And um, all I can say is, we well, make them feel special. For all the young people, we make them feel special. Especially if you're a guy. Give them that hope, that false hope. Um, never have it. So, you know, a good pickup line would be like, hey, lady, let me blow up your phone. And they'll take it the wrong way, because you said blow up. And so then, she'll whip out the handcuffs, and you'll be like, Oh my god, this is going so fast. <laughs> and then you get arrested, which is what I hear Mary just kind of like. <laughs> Thank you guys, y'all were awesome. Have a good night.